Okay, hello. My name is Rusty. I'm excited to be here for our time with God. God always has time for you. He wants to communicate with you every day. All right, so let's pray. Heavenly Father, we really thank you, Lord. Sometimes I think about how much you love us and how you want to have time with us. God, I want everybody to learn to walk with you and who you really are. We can understand you better when we have time with you, God. You're precious and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. So here is our last Bible trivia question. What food do we ask God to give us in the Lord's Prayer? Maybe you knew or you looked it up in your Bible. It's bread. Bread. In the New Testament. All right. Potter and clay. What does that mean? Really, the potter forms the clay. A long time ago, in school, I made a cup out of clay. I did not do a good job, but I enjoy playing with it. It requires a lot of patience to form it how you want it. But how does that apply to our lives? The Bible says there are a lot of things from a long time ago that we still do today, like making pottery, a vessel, all kinds of different things. So what does the Bible say about this? Isaiah chapter 64, verse 8. But now, O Lord, thou art our father. You, we are the clay. And thou art potter. And we all are the work of thy hand. So this will help you understand. So you're a cup, right? God works on your life. Maybe you try to resist that. But God will keep trying again and again to build you the proper way. Because we need to be humble and sacrifice ourselves to God. We need to listen to him and learn to do what he wants us to do and to show the world what he wants and who he really is. There are so many things we can do for God. And one day we'll be a perfect, beautiful vessel. It will be beautiful because God is making us. God is making you. And he wants you to be like Christ. It's so important for people to see our lives and realize that we love God and that he is always good. Don't worry about what the world thinks. That's not what I mean. But <clears throat> we want to glorify God and obey him so that we can become beautiful and be used to honor him. Sometimes God is patient. We want our own way. But we need to give that up and go God's way every single day, whatever he wants us to do. And then the result is that our lives will have joy and happiness. We have to go through hard things, but we can still be happy because God is always with us. Amen. Let's pray. Wow, God, you're so good to us. And it's interesting how you explained about the potter and clay. God, you form our lives. So it's important for us to be patient and allow you to work in our lives so that we can be holy and honor you in everything. You know best and we need to follow you and your will. We want the vessel that we become to be used for you. 
You're precious and we love you in Jesus name. Amen. Okay. Now, Bible trivia. What could it be? People look on the outward appearance. But what does God look on? So, people may look at us and judge us, but what does God look at? Do you know the answer? Maybe you know. And if you do, go ahead and type it in the comments below. And remember, God will always be with you, my precious brothers and sisters in Christ. Bye.